is the most magnificent life has ever been. Here is heaven and earth and the brilliant sky in between. Blessed is this life, and I'm gonna celebrate being alive. Well, welcome to Tech 101. I'm Eric Hesseldahl, senior technology writer here at Business Week, and we're in one of our conference rooms here at Business Week headquarters in New York. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. Uh, wireless routers now we've done a couple segments before on setting up and configuring your wireless routers at home and also about securing them a lot of you have written in asking for a little bit more information about MAC address filtering which I touched on a little bit we can talk about it a little bit more detail today now MAC address filtering is basically this it creates a VIP list of which devices have permission to access your router and therefore get out on the internet so Let's jump to our question. Our question comes from someone who didn't give us their name this week, so I'll just get to it right now. If I don't implement MAC address filtering but have a SSID password on my network, can anyone still utilize my bandwidth? Don't they have to know my password to access my network? It's a great question, and let's just start by saying there's no such thing as perfect security. You can put a password on your router to require people to access it, but that doesn't mean that somebody who's really interested in getting on your network can't break that password. Uh, same really goes for MAC address filtering. When you create a MAC address filter, basically what you're doing is you're taking the MAC addresses. Those are those special serial numbers that are specific to each and every wireless card. If your laptop has one, if your desktop has wireless capability, it has one. Your router itself has one. When you're creating this list uh, in the configuration screen for your router, you're basically going to give it a list of all the MAC addresses, all the devices that have permission to get on your network. Now, just because you've done that doesn't mean you've perfectly locked everyone out. But what it does do is it makes it a little bit more difficult to access. So you've created a VIP list, as I said before, of those devices that have permission. But devoted hackers, somebody who's really technically adept, can sort of spoof if they know the MAC address uh, that uh, has permission, they can spoof and pretend that they have a device that has that MAC address. So in both cases, it's really helpful to use both MAC address filtering and a good password. A password that's difficult to guess. It's also good to change it once in a while. Neither of these things are perfect. 